seat taken. Hey, Dad! I didn't think you were going to make it. <laughs> you kidding me? I never missed one of your Little League games. <laughs> what makes you think I'm going to miss the first day of fishing season with my kid? So, tell me everything. How's it going? How are you and Karen doing? Oh, great. Everything's great. Oh, Karen got that promotion at work. Ah. We're both really excited about that. That's great. She deserved that promotion. I'm excited for the both of you. How about you? Everything's great. Uh, been working on that stingray your granddad gave me. <laughs> and let me tell you, that thing needs a lot of work. The engine is completely shot. Sometimes I think it'd be better if the engine wasn't even in there. And the body? <laughs> it's full of cracks and holes. It's going to be a while before I can make that baby purr. You've been working on that thing for <laughs> years. You should just push it into a ditch. That's why Grandpa pawned it off on you. Yeah, you got tired of working on it. He knew it was going to be more effort than it was worth. Oh, well, you're probably right. But it's a good project for when I get some free time. And besides, you're going to be mighty jealous when your old man is cruising around in his new hot rod. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. <laughs> what else? Well, I've been fishing in the mornings. Caught a couple of nice bass here and there, but uh, a lot of the time, not a bite. Not like our trips to the river. <laughs> I love those trips. You and your brother love the fishing. And going to old Peabody's water slide? <laughs> oh, I got stitches on Peabody's. Uh, cement water slide's not always the safest for kids, but they do make a really good snow cone there. Oh, oh yeah. God, I love those snow cones. And I love going to the river. I love sitting there watching you fish, <laughs> listening to the water rush by. It was really peaceful. And every time I looked over, you were catching another fish. Well, I wanted you boys to enjoy the river. I know I did with my dad. I used to go there with him and your uncle, and we do the same thing I did with you boys. After your granddad passed, I always thought I'd take you when you were a lot younger. It just didn't feel right. I wanted to wait till you got older and till you could appreciate it more. If your mother and I had taken you when you were younger, you wouldn't have appreciated it as much and, well, you might not even have remembered it. No, I loved it. I loved it and I appreciated it. And I appreciated you, Dad. I mean, you were such a great dad to us. You were always there for us. I don't know how you did that. You're always taking us on these great trips and reading to us when we were sick. <laughs> I remember that one time when you searched everywhere, every store in town for that that toy that mm -hmm. Eric wanted, a superhero action figure. You were super dad. Well, Tim, you boys are my life. You always have been. I know I was hard on you at some times when you were growing up, but, but I wanted you to be successful. Becoming a father to you and your brother were the best moments in my life. Now, now don't get me wrong. Your, marrying your mother was right up there, and it ranked second on the list. But hearing the word dada for the very first time, there's nothing like that. It made me want to do everything for you boys. Well, I hope I can be as great a dad as you are. What's this? Tim. Karen's pregnant. I'm, I'm going to be a granddad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. When's she due? Early July. We wanted to tell you earlier, but we had to wait until you know it's a real deal. That's wonderful. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm nervous. I want to make sure I'm going to be as great a dad as you are. Oh, you'll be a great dad. It's a lot of responsibility, but nothing you can't handle. Well, I hope you'll be there for him or her, like you were for Eric and I. Oh, I'll be there for them, as well as being there for everyone else. I love you, Dad. I love you.
too, son. I love you so much. I'm so very proud of you. I imagine that today would be the day that I get to see you again. I wasn't so lucky. I know you're watching over us, Karen and me and Eric. But everyone just misses you so much. I got you something. be a grandfather and I know you'll be watching over him or her too but dad I'm scared I'm scared that I'm not going to be as good a dad as you are and you won't be there to back me up with advice or life lessons Fisher biting up there. I'm sure you and Grandpa are uh, having a contest to see who can catch the most fish. Oh, by the way, I finished the stingray. It took a lot of work, but it did turn out to be a nice hot rod. I hope it stays in the family. Talk to you later, Dad. <laughs>